right now, uh, we're coming in with six new players, and uh, this is uh, really the time that you get better. We're working on a lot of skill development with our players. Uh, they're getting a chance to play uh, every day, uh, pretty much open gym. So they, it's a lot of basketball and books for us. Uh, we've got some early morning workouts um, that we're doing. Uh, we go to the weight room where we get strength and conditioning in. And so right now it's all about preparation. A team that has got to uh, prepare and be very focused on uh, the day-to-day -day operations of what needs to be done and uh, make sure that we don't count the days, but we got to make the days count. Well, our junior college uh, transfers, uh, throughout of the four have been, have had Division I experience. Colton Weisbroth uh, went to University of New Orleans first and then went to Lamar State, where he became a first team junior college All-American. Um, and then Christian Albright uh, signed uh, with Abilene Christian coming out of high school, played a year, then transferred to Lamar State, a teammate of Colton. They were great playing together. And for us, it was a no-brainer. They right up the, sh up the road and uh, played with a very successful program. Uh, so with us, we felt like that's, that was natural for us to recruit the two of them. Uh, we think that Joy uh, will be a great uh, point guard would be a great addition as well. He went to Montana State and uh, then transferred in as well from a JUCO. Uh, then uh, Torrey Noel uh, didn't play Division One, but he went straight to junior college, but very successful. Uh, all those guys are high character guys. Um, they're very competitive, and I do think they will give us a, a boost, uh, more so a psychological boost because they've been battle tested. And then we got two talented freshmen, uh, Tyron Atwood, who's from Central High School, um, Cameron McGee from out of Dallas. Uh, those two guys have not shied away from the competition. So we expect them to be uh, competing and vying for uh, playing time. Uh, and then we've had great returning guys, uh, Marcus. Uh, Marcus have been outstanding for us. Uh, he's been here three years. From I expect this to be a breakout year for him. Um, I think that uh, for the most part, we've got a good balance of newcomers and returning players, and we'll just see what happens during the season. Yeah, we had a, uh, we had made some changes. Uh, our staff, uh, we felt uh, we went with a young guy and Justin Bailey, who uh, have been a very good assistant coach at Arkansas, uh, Fort Smith. Uh, he was always able to sign guys they wasn't supposed to get. So I felt like maybe I need to sign, get him to come here and help upgrade our recruiting. He's done an outstanding job with that, along with Brian Burden, who's become our recruiting coordinator. And then Bobby Kuma, I made him my associate head coach. Bobby's been around a long time. I've got complete trust in him and, and the rest of the guys. And, of course, Matt Pace has been with me the whole time as my director of basketball operation. So we've got a young staff uh, in addition to uh, Bobby Coleman and myself, some veteran guys who've been around the block a little bit.